Oh man, I think we're live. Yeah, man. All eyes on the way I vibe when I walk into the room. Wind blows underneath the soles of my brand new pair of shoes. All right. Boom, we're live. <laughs> it's, and unfortunately, we, well, maybe fortunately, uh, Amelia was not able to make it. So Ronan jumped in, literally just told him, I don't know, two minutes ago. Uh, actually, I first reached out to Kevin Hopp and I was like, dude, can you join me? And he's like, no, but Ronan can't. So I was like, awesome. So, <laughs> and if, if you know Ronan, like, I mean, he's pretty much ready to make cold calls, you know, even from Kevin's backyard, any time of the day doesn't matter. So uh, I'm sure it's going to be a great session. Um, thanks to everybody who's joining us. Um, for people that maybe don't know who you are, Ronan, yeah. give them a little bit of context here. Yeah, totally. Um, tuning in live from Kevin's backyard. <laughs> it's a benefit of being in San Diego. Um, I've been at the SDR game since 2015. So um, was working at a company called Smartling. Then after that, managed that team for a while, went to security scorecard, their unicorn grew that company from like 8 million to now close to a hundred million ARR. Now I'm doing it on my own with Stylo. So I'm the chief growth officer there still cold calling every day, but also figuring out other ways to uh, go to market and get some leads. Yeah. I mean, I don't think it doesn't really matter what title you have. I don't think that they're ever going to be able to get you out of the trenches on the front lines. No way. Love it too much. <laughs> I mean, isn't that the thing though, man? If you ain't having fun cold calling, you're not doing it right. Or enough. Ah, there we go. There we go. Yeah, because if if you're not doing it, uh if you're not doing it enough, then yeah, it's not fun. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Uh, so I just got off of a call blitz with my team uh right before this, so I'm ready. Oof. Um I'm actually gonna be calling on behalf of monster connect so i'm going to be calling into sales leaders pitching monster connect because this session is brought to you by monster connect so it allows you to make your already you know great sales reps eight to ten times more productive and then if you're if you're interested in what happens on both sides of the conversation uh you can go to the cold call po cold calling podcast and that's where we drop both sides of the conversation as well um running you got your list ready oh yeah i'm ready all right, let's do this. Locked and loaded. And then anybody who's joining us, drop us in the comments. Give us some love. Give us some feedback. Give us whatever you got for us. We'll take it. Compliments especially. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um, or, or beard growing tips. This is new for me. Oh, dude. <laughs> Don't get me started. Um, I have... Uh, a group of parents that we go camping with at the end of every summer before school starts again with the kids. And last year they just started to uh, decided to start a mustache growing contest. <laughs> so from 4th of July till when we go camping, which is about a month and I rocked the full handlebar, full Oof, handlebar. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, let's uh, hit dial. How often do you adjust your script, Ronan? You know, I'm a little weird. I play with it a lot. So every few yeah. weeks, I'm kind of onto something new. Um, my current one is is Sarah Brazier based. Okay. So uh, hopefully you guys will hear it soon, but it's really just friendly, warm. It just starts with like a, hey, Colin. And the person's usually like, hey, what's up? Who is this? And like kind of gives you the opportunity to go right into it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I might even give that a try. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> That's what makes it fun, right? Exactly. I've tried them all, though. Anyone who's on LinkedIn sharing a script, I've tried it before. What? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of people that like the you know sort of more casual, how you doing sort of approach. Yeah, I just make a small tweak to that instead of how you doing. I go with how have you been. Um, you know, it kind of shows that maybe I know them. It, a little bit of a friendlier um, opener. But I also track my stats aggressively. So how many dials, connects, allowed to pitch, relevant, and then desire. By the script? Yeah. 
That's the one thing. Hey, Edward, uh, this is Colin over at Monster Connect. Uh, we've actually never spoken before. Uh, do you have a half a minute so I can tell you exactly why I called you today? Oh, I got totally faked out. It was a voicemail. <laughs> <laughs> I just left an opener on a voicemail. Awesome. <laughs> you must have had one of those like tricky voicemails where it's like, hello. Oh, yeah. Those used to be very popular. I don't hear them as often anymore, though. Yeah, right. Those are going to come back to confuse all the robo dialers. Oh, yeah. So how many dials at a time are you making on Monster Connect? Like right now there's eight. Uh, there's, so there's eight, you know, this is a parallel agent yeah. assisted dialer, right? So there's real human beings on the front end making calls. That's such a nice luxury. Oh yeah. I mean, the worst part, of, part about cold calls is, you know, gatekeepers, phone trees, you know, if you can sit on and sit on the line for an hour and have, 15, maybe more conversations. Mm -hmm. Is that Kevin's dog going crazy? Yeah. He's like, yeah, <laughs> Kevin just booked a meeting. Got some pickups here. Your list a little stale? Yeah, it's on its last legs. <laughs> Gotta squeeze every drop out of it. That's right. Before you put it in the, the recycle box. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back to the drawing board probably later today. Get some more fresh ones on there. Who are you calling? <clears throat> um, anyone who's like a support leader of any sort, manager, director, VP level. So I'm calling on support people. There's a funny move though in this space. False alarm on that. Uh, where you, <laughs> where some people will actually call in as an upset customer. I'm not about that. You know, some people are like really into that move. If you're, if you can find a way to get in front oh, of the person. When calling into support. Yeah. yeah. Uh, hey, Troy, this is Colin over at Monster Connect. This is actually my first time giving you a call here, but do you have a moment so I can tell you exactly why I'm calling you today? Yeah, have you ever heard of us before? Got it. Well, reason I'm actually calling uh, Troy is <laughs> to introduce my company when I'm not calling you out of the blue here. Uh, are you available like Tuesday or Thursday around 9 a.m. your time? Yeah, I definitely want to make sure it's relevant. Um, calling from Monster Connect and was doing a bit of research. Uh, looks like you guys have a sales team. Look like you're doing some prospecting, maybe even cold calling. Is is that accurate? Yeah. So we're a, a, a technology that allows your you know already uh, trained reps to be eight time eight to ten times more productive when they're making outbound calls. Correct. Yeah. Uh huh. Got it. Okay. And I, I know it's just not your job to help me out, but do you know who I might reach out to there that's in charge of the SDR team? Nice. I'll keep it our little secret, or I said I'll keep it our, our little secret. I won't. I won't tell her you. You told me to call. <laughs> Got it. Huh. Uh, sounds nice. Got it. Awesome. Hey, Troy, really appreciate your, your help here. Um, I hope you have a great rest of the day.
All right, see ya. Oh, I like that. I know it's not your job to help me out here. Yeah, but most most human beings are good people. Most. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so they genuinely like helping people, right? But it's like, right. I don't want to assume that you're going to just help me because I asked. But I'm like, hey, I know it's not your job. But and it works most of the time. Um, or Kevin's favorite, Kevin Hop. I'm going to keep talking about Kevin because it's almost like he's here with us, even though he's not here. Yeah. Um, Kevin likes to say, you know, hey, uh, would it be, you know, ask who it is. And then uh, he likes to say, you know, would it be okay if I, I told you, you know, that you tell him you told me to call or, or should I keep that our little secret? <laughs> <laughs> That's such a good one. Uh, make some laugh because some people are like they don't want you to because re- they know they know that right, like right. <clears throat> oh hey they know Troy, why Troy told me to call you how's yeah, it going yeah exactly you know <laughs> <clears throat> I also love how your demeanor your tone doesn't change from when you're talking to me and when you're on the phone with the prospect you're literally exactly the same tone yeah sometimes I have to if I've had too much coffee which I have uh, <laughs> I have to like be mindful of that where I don't <clears throat> feel like I'm going to jump, you know, I want them to, I don't want them to feel like I'm going to jump, jump through the phone. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <clears throat> you are dialing over there, right? Yeah. I just burned through one list. No pickups. Time for the yeah. next one. I'm going to change my number to, I've been having more luck with a <clears throat> 415 area code for some reason. I think people think it's their Uber Eats. Hey, Haga, this is Colin with Monster Connect. This is actually my first time giving you a call here, but uh, do, you ha- do you have a moment so I can tell you exactly why I'm calling you today? Oh, okay. I'm going to call you back when you're having a better day. <laughs> I mean, I think the key is, man, if you make cold calls enough, like you're going to get your teeth knocked in. A lot. Oh, yeah. And oh, yeah. I think where a lot of SDRs, you know, struggle is like taking that stuff just way too personal. Oh, totally. And it's so easy to do that too, right? Yeah. Like you, you just hear that the person's upset you called. You think it's your fault. And it has literally nothing to do with you. Like people don't believe nothing. me that like 20 minutes later, the person will not remember you. Oh, yeah. Hey, Blake, this is Colin over at Monster Connect. Uh, we've actually never spoken before, but do you have half a minute and I can take exactly why I'm calling you today? Double tap. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Are you, an- are you pro or anti-double tap? I, um, depends. <laughs> You're mixed? <laughs> It depends on the situation. If I'm trying to get a hold of someone uh, particular, I'll do it. Hey, no, nope, Robo Killer. Um, believe it or not, actually, I've been getting a lot of callbacks. I booked two meetings uh, this week on callbacks alone. What? Are you leaving Crazy, voicemails? Right? No, 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 no voicemail. I just called and they called me back. Hey, Bryn, this is Colin over at Monster Connect. We've actually never spoken before, but do you have half a minute and I can take exactly why I'm calling you today? Wrong, wrong, uh, wrong person. (laughs) And it was a, it was a, it was a, it was a male. So he wasn't too happy. I called him Bryn. (laughs) Oh, I've done that a bunch. Yeah. So you're, so double tap your, you could go either way. I'm pretty much always double tap, is especially if it's in the beginning of the call that they hang up. Like they don't even let you get into your opener. Oh yeah, hundred. But if you're like mid, if you're mid, you know, script and 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 they hang up, then yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, another voicemail. Hey Rob, this is Rob. This is Colin over at Monster Connect. Uh, we've actually never spoken before, but do you have half a minute and I can tell you exactly why I'm reaching out to you today? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Sounds like you're in the car. You're, you're hands free. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, reason I'm reaching out here is, is I see that you, you know, your team, um, you have a team there and it seems like hey, you guys probably do some, some outbound prospecting, maybe even making cold calls. Is, is that accurate? Oh no. Is this not Benji Nelson? 
No, you guys don't. You guys don't do any outbound prospecting or All make right. cold I think calls. I got the wrong number there. Sorry about that. Have a great one. Got it. Do they do they have call blocks? Do they make calls? You know, inbound, outbound. Do they ever use the phone? Basically. <laughs> Yeah, he's yeah, no. <laughs> Do you use the phone? <laughs> <laughs> you know, the device that we're on speaking to him right now. <laughs> what happened? I like also how you just said there, like, I hope your hands free. Uh yeah. It's, it's a nice way to kind of like break that's the ice also a bit. that's also a little Kevin Hop uh Hey Pasal, this is Colin over at Monster Connect. We've actually never spoken before. Do you have half a minute? And I can tell you exactly why I'm reaching out to you today. Yeah, I'm, hey, I'm really Josh. just calling to introduce my company to you. I'm not calling you out of the blue. Uh, hey, have you ever yeah, heard of Monster Connect before? It's Ronan Pesar with Stylo. How you been? Yeah, so definitely want to make sure this is yeah. relevant. Um, yeah, looks this like is you have Ronan. a sales I'm team. Calling from Stylo. Looks like um, um, hey, look, I, I know you guys might do some outbound prospecting, call, maybe even on a Wednesday. cold calling. Uh, is that so true? I can keep it super brief, and then you could decide if you want to hang up on me. Is that yeah, fair? Yeah. So, so what we do at Monster Connect is we, you know, help make your your reps that are doing outbound prospecting uh, eight okay, to ten sure. times more um, productive when they're using out, the phone. Um, to um, so they're going to have eight to ten like more you. conversations and per hour. First of all, see if you have is a that something that's important to you at the moment? Customers that are going to escalate before they do. Um, have you ever considered AI or a model like that for escalation prevention? Yeah. All right, you bet. You want to call? Not anymore. He uh, goes, I'm not interested. Hung up. Uh, you're either in deep thought or you're like listening to somebody. <laughs> I couldn't figure it out. Um, yeah, man, this this is uh, <clears throat> we're getting beat up here. Two punches, you know. Yeah. It's like you're in the ring. Take me off Boxing. your list. Take me off your list. Love that one. Oh my god, my favorite all time favorite hey, is. Gareth, How did you get this? this is Colin at Monster Connect. Uh, we've actually never spoken before. How you been? Yeah, doing good. Uh, reason I'm calling you today, Gareth, is is really just to introduce my company to you, Monster Connect. When I'm not calling you out of the blue, uh, have you ever heard of us before? Got it. And. Um, what are you guys using today uh, for your reps you know, when they're outbound prospecting using the phone? Got it. Uh, so you use multiple multiple solutions. Any reason why? Hey, Julie. Hey, Julie. It's Ronan Passar with Stylo. How have you been? Got it. And, yeah, um, Julie, can you hear me? Okay. Would you be would you be open through? to visiting Monster Connect and seeing if it could, you know, replace one or maybe you know more than one Hello, of those? Ju hey, Julie, can you hear me? Okay. Julie, hello, hello. Hmm. How can you hear me now? Hello. Yeah. Do you have your calendar in front of you? <clears throat> that is actually bizarre. Okay. Um. Let's see. Uh, how would, uh, how would next, uh, next Wednesday around this same time work for you? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, I could go soon, could, I could go sooner, but, uh, unfortunately my, my calendar is a little packed, but if you want to meet sooner, I can get somebody else. Um, how's, how's your Thursday or Friday look? Okay, so how about Friday uh, around one o'clock your time? Got it. All right, so I'll have an invite sent out to you for this Friday at 1230 Eastern. All right, awesome. Thanks for your time, Gareth. Appreciate it. All right, you too. Bye-bye. Got one.
Got one. Nice, man. He had some familiarity and seemed like they had a, you know, outbound prospecting and cold calling was a big part of how they operate. So that always helps. Um, he's currently using a couple of different dialing solutions. That's so not, not really sure why, but uh, <laughs> yeah. he didn't really, he didn't really explain that too well, but, uh, he was open to taking a look. So, uh, okay. funny thing is, is I asked him for a week out and he was like, Oh geez, I was almost going to offer you a job, but you asked for a week out the week before Christmas. So <laughs> he wanted to meet, he wanted to meet this week. Damn. I love it. Must be super if top on, of my phone. If only every cold call could go like that. <laughs> right? <laughs> exactly. Mine literally, lady's like, hello, I can't hear you if you're talking. I'm like, what is happening right now? Tell Kevin to get faster speed internet over there. Like, yeah. <laughs> Need I fiber. Just... I mean, for if you're going to have a co-working cold calling uh, sesh going down in the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Microphone. If hey, Bonnie, can... this is this is Colin over at Monster Connect. We've actually never spoken before, uh, but do you have half a minute and I can tell you exactly why I'm reaching out? Let's get back to it. Yeah, with Monster Connect. I'm, I'm actually just calling to introduce my company when I'm not calling you out of the blue like I am today. Uh, have you ever heard of us before? No, no. So, you know, I was doing a little bit of research. Looks like you have a sales team. Looks like you guys are maybe doing outbound prospecting, maybe even cold calling. Is is that accurate? Okay, great. And, um, you know, so what I, what I was calling is to see, you know, if it'd be worth having a chat, if I can show you how your, your reps that are making calls can have eight to 10 conversations per hour. Um, would that be worth maybe 20 minutes of your time next week? Yeah, no, I'm not trying to. Yeah. Yeah. So it's actually, maybe I didn't explain it well. So, um, we're not trying to change the way you sell or show you a better way of doing things. Uh, what we do is we, we provide you a technology that makes your already trained successful reps more productive. So, hey, Darren. you know, instead of having, you know, a couple of conversations in, in an hour hey, Darren, block, you can have, it's Ronan you know, Pesar with Silo. So, um, look, we're helping them be more no productive uh, while they're on, on, on a Wednesday afternoon. Technology. So I can keep it like super brief and then you could decide if you want to hang up on me. Is, does that sound fair? All right. Hey, I appreciate that. Um, a hey, quick question for you. Out of curiosity, do you have a way, um, of looking at your customers and knowing which one is likely to escalate a ticket as soon as they write into support already? Okay, that's not. Got it. Um, oh, getting a call back. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. You know, I make a lot of calls. I appreciate the callback, though. Um, but I'm not actually sure who I dialed here. Who is this? Jose. Okay, no worries. Yeah, I was um, actually cold calling to try to speak to whoever is responsible for support over there. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm actually a little, little lost. You know, maybe you can help me out. Okay, cool. Uh, out of curiosity, do you guys utilize uh, Zendesk to manage tickets? Um, yeah, this would be just for support. So anytime someone's writing in, that would need help. Yeah, okay, appreciate that. Okay. 
Okay. Sounds good. Um, I am ready for that whenever you are. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate the callback. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Well, hey, thank you so much. Have a great one. All right. Bye bye. I'm telling you, man, callbacks. Was that a callback? <laughs> yeah. I, this guy uh, was just calling me back because he must have been like a support um, rep or agent or something. So they must oh, have yeah. the policy to call people back if they miss the call. Oh yeah. And so were you saying that in, 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 uh, in your niche, uh, there's people who will call in like they're an angry support, like to, to get escalated to like the higher level person that you're trying to get to. Yeah, exactly. Are those, are those, um, support leaders? Do you, have you found they're like really difficult to, to get a hold of? Um, you know, it's, pretty much par for the course compared to the other folks I've reached out to. So not any more challenging than, than yeah. Honestly, the hardest, believe it or not, has been like uh, marketers. (laughs) Oh yeah. Marketers are hard. (laughs) Yeah. I'm going to hold back on what I was going to say there about marketers, but (laughs) we are live. We are live. Exactly. Exactly. It's the internet. It's out there forever. (laughs) No, marketers are tough, but if you can, uh, have a compelling value prop, something that like really speaks to them. You're usually like, okay, we're ready to go. All right, let's keep the dialing going here. I'm kind of jealous, man. I never get callbacks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, Jeff, this is Colin over at Monster Connect. Uh, we've actually never spoken before. Uh, do you have a half a minute? I can tell you exactly why I'm reaching out to you today. <clears throat> yeah, so... Um, I'm reaching out really just to introduce my company to you when I'm not calling you out of the blue. Uh, have you ever heard of Monster Connect before? Yeah, I definitely want to make sure it's relevant. Uh, I was doing a bit of research. Looks like you you have a sales team there. Uh, looks like you guys do outbound prospecting, uh, maybe even cold calling. Is that true? Got it. So you're working really targeted lists. Got it. Okay. And then uh, I'm just curious when, when your reps are making calls, you know, do you, do you know how, you know, how many conversations they typically have in an hour? Yeah. Got it. So you have like full cycle reps. You don't have like account executives and then SDRs and BDRs. Hey, Adam. Hey, Adam. It's Ronan Pessar with Stylo. How have you been? Yeah, I'm reaching out from Stylo. Um, look, I, yeah. I know no one likes getting a cold call, especially not on a Wednesday afternoon. So I can keep it super brief, yeah. and then you can decide if you want to hang up on me. Is that fair? Okay, awesome. And is it is it good to to tell Jimmy that that you uh, sent sent me there or or? She- Okay. Awesome. Hey, uh, Jeff, really appreciate your help. Super helpful. I'll oh, reach man. out to Jimmy. That and, sounds like and a see lot going goes. on there. All right. Take care. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm so sorry to hear that. Well, best of luck with everything there, Adam. All right. Take care. What happened there? That was so depressing.
Oh. You're just like, no, nah, man, we're in tough times out here. I understand what you're doing, but I can't do anything right now. It's tough. Time. Hey, Kurt, this is Colin over at Monster Connect. Uh, we've actually never spoken before, but do you have half a minute and I can tell you exactly why I'm reaching out? Hey, you know what? I, I can give you a call back at a better time. No problem. All right, take care. So it's so easy to bite at that. And he's like, yeah, go. I got 10 seconds. I'm just like, no, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I'm about to jump in a meeting. Uh, I don't know which, I mean, I, I don't know too many meetings that start at 1038 AM PST. Yeah, <laughs> but, exactly. Uh, I, I mean, I guess maybe <laughs> unless he's seven minutes late to his 1030, I guess it's a possibility. Right. Um, but anyway, yeah. So you, what happened? You got a tough, tough call there, huh? Yeah. The guy was just like, oh man, I know what you're trying to do here. I respect it, but it's tough times mm -hmm. over here. I can't do anything for you. And I was just like, oh wow, that sounds really rough. <laughs> yeah. Uh, by chance, could it have anything to do with not being able to see which customers are most frustrated when they're writing into support? Ooh, yeah, that's good. Uh, I'd be like, May, might make him scratch his head a minute. Like, oh, you <laughs> he, mean he churn clearly... might be directly related to the fact that people are pissed off and we don't know it? <laughs> That's good. I'm going to use that on the next one. <laughs> but he was open to it. He was like, yeah, sure, go ahead. And then he kind of jumped right in. It was like, uh, actually, life's terrible right now. Sometimes you got to read the room, though, right? If somebody's like, for sure, you're trying to, you know, sell too hard to somebody who's and, and it might just be like dude catch him on a different day and it's a totally different conversation yeah totally man i'm getting a lot of pickups on voicemails or connects on these voicemails oh here we go call back let's go <laughs> Hey, is this Kevin? Hello? Uh, you, you're coming in really choppy. Um, all right, thanks. He's going to call me right back. <laughs> uh, this is fascinating. I've never gotten this many callbacks this rapidly. I'm telling you, you get, it's the area. You're getting more callbacks than pickups. That's right. <laughs> There he is. Kevin? Yeah. Oh, much clearer. Uh, hey, so it's Ronan with Style here. I was actually cold calling you. Uh, really appreciate the call back here. Mind if uh, I share why I was specifically reaching out to you? Yeah, I'm calling from Stylo. Um, does that ring a bell at all? No worries. I'm sure my emails are super forgettable. Um, so we're we're Stylo. Essentially, what we do is we work with support leaders to help predict uh, exactly which customers are likely to escalate their tickets before they do. Um, you know, I, I don't know if you already have a way to do this, um, but are you currently using any AI or anything to track emotional sentiment of your customers when they write in? Uh, no, not really, not right. I mean, they use some, mm. uh, they use a couple of software. Uh, Doc is one of them that mm. discuss to, to take calls and stuff. If you want, you buddy, she handles all of that for me. Okay? That sounds, yeah, it sounds great. Actually. Hey, Mike, this is Colin at Monster Connect. Uh, we've actually never spoken before. Do you have half a minute so I can? Oh, looks like I got uh, things crossed up here. Who, who did I reach? Looks like Ronan's callback's going well. Oh, no. he uh, He's like, yeah, we got a gong for that. And why don't you just reach out to my admin, gave me a name, and hung up. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, why do you not compete with gong? Clearly, he's confused. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, so far, I've, with Monster Connect, I've been able to 
102 dials, 7.3 to one dial to connect. So 14 conversations, one meeting booked. We're at, you know, about, I don't know. We started a little bit late. So that's like 35 minutes in. It's pretty good. So some good stats too on your, uh, on your data. Yeah. Um, data is something I think people often think is not as important as it is, but like, if you're going to call a list, at least make sure it's a good, good list. Got to scrub it once, maybe twice. (laughs) Hey, Jonathan, this is uh, Colin over at monster connect. We've, we've actually never spoken before. This is my first time giving you a call here. Uh, do you have half a minute and I can tell you exactly why I'm reaching out to you today? Hey, Rodney. Yeah, hello. Hey, Ronnie, thanks for calling me back. Uh, this is Ronen with Stylo. Um, the name yeah, ring a bell at all? I totally get that. Um, but sometimes, oh, you know, no, even no if you sweat, only man. have a we couple spoke of reps, a while back and those reps you asked me to call you back. Um, might make sense. And you got half a minute? The last time is you. <clears throat> um, I'm actually right in the middle of lunch and I have a doctor's appointment. Yeah. In just a couple of minutes. So, what, what is this called? Yeah, I'll keep it extremely brief then. Um, out of curiosity, out of all of the customers that write in for support, do you have a way of knowing which one's leaving their support interaction feeling the most frustrated? Mm-hmm. Um, no. Is this, is this related to like Gene DX or Semaphore or something? Yeah, it's a Gene DX. Totally mm-hmm. get that. Yeah. When do you think would be a good time okay. to sort of circle back? Oh, no. You've uh, moved on to another role or you're on the hunt right now? I'm on the hunt right now. They actually went through a Got it. Okay. It amazing, big so, uh, I, was on a, I see. Oh, man. Well, Rodney, best of luck to you. It's sorry to hear that. Mm-hmm. I appreciate it. Thank you. Take care. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Yeah, take sure. care. Bye-bye. Yeah, is it maybe Brian? Yeah. All right, well. All right, sounds good. Hey, thanks for your time. Appreciate it. So, Man, yeah, call me another back. Callback. Another callback. I heard that, yeah. I got a... He's like... Hey, thanks for calling me, but I'm not at the company anymore. I was let go. Uh, you know how many yeah. people have been saying that to me? Oh, uh, I'm getting weeks? so many of those. It's insane. Uh, it's it's kind of sad. Like, makes you be super grateful to just have a job, right? Yeah, totally. <clears throat> um, I definitely need to refresh my list, though. This is getting ugly. Let me just dispose this one. Busy. I mean, just keep just keep uh, Come, I'll tell you keep what. firing away and just re- sit back and wait for callbacks. <laughs> <laughs> You got up. four. You got four already. <laughs> yeah, That's I mean, crazy. I think there's probably SDRs that have never gotten four callbacks in their entire tenure. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I always get callbacks from people on the go. They sound like they're in the car or something. I think they don't know who's calling them, so they. Yeah. I, hey, this Chip. Is this theory. is Colin over at Monster Connect. We've we've actually never spoken before. This is my first time giving you a call. Uh, do you have half a minute, and I can tell you exactly why I'm reaching out to you today? Yeah. No, I'll let you go. I'll, I'll call you back at a better time. Savage. Savage. I'm on a Zoom call. I thought you were somebody from my office. Um, just, I love getting that like, hey, I thought you were somebody important. <laughs> so what do you do there? Do you dispose them as callback and then you try them at a different time? Yeah. Hey, Mike. Uh, hey, it's Ronan with Stylo. How you been? Yeah, um, out of curiosity, does uh, the name ring a bell at all? All right, no worries. Um, yeah, the reason for my call was to see if out of all the customers you've got writing into you at Decision One, if you have a way of knowing which hey, one Scott, this is, is uh, the most calling over at Monster Connect. This is my first time giving you a call. Do you have a half a minute and I can tell you exactly why I'm reaching out today? Yeah, no sweat. I can I can try you back another hey, time. No problem. I'll try I'll try you back at a better time. 
All right, take care. Dude, I was getting a call back while I was on the phone with this guy. What is happening right Dude, now? Dude, were you getting a call back right when you got a pickup? <laughs> I was I had it ringing because <laughs> my phone's hooked <laughs> up to my computer. So I was, I'm like in my mind, I know who was calling me back because this guy's no showed me like nine months ago. Yeah. And so I was going to uh, pick it up and take it and just drop with the other guy. But yeah, I saw I saw you there. You're like, oh, do I keep this? I call like, going? Yeah. <laughs> is this call going to go well? Is it not going to go well? Trash Should I bail? <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's a, quite a predicament to be in. Um, I'm going to try and right Get a pickup and a call back at the same time. There we go. <clears throat> I got another uh, going into a meeting. <clears throat> I guess there's lots of meetings same, to start it. Same, yeah, at 10.47 a.m. PST. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to try this guy right Yeah, back. so with the callbacks, like, best thing is to call those back same day, later, different time. Okay. Hey, Ted, uh, this is Colin over at Monster Connect. We, we've actually never spoken before. Uh, do you have half a minute, and I can tell you exactly why I'm reaching out today? Yeah, so the reason I'm reaching out, um, you know, definitely just to introduce my company here when I'm not calling you out of the blue. Have you ever heard of Monster Connect before? Yeah, so I was doing a bit of research. Looks like you have a sales team. Looks like they're doing outbound prospecting, maybe even hey, cold calling. Monish, Is that true? Hey, calling you back. Sorry, we've been playing some uh, phone tag here. Yeah, it's Ronan Passar with Stylo. Um, name ring a bell at all? I'm doing really well. How have you been? Got it. Okay. And so do you guys do any outbound prospecting? Look, I um, was giving you a call back because I know we were supposed to meet like nine, six months ago or so. Right. Um, um, just like months ago, like, social see if, and email and stuff? If you were still thinking of ways to reduce tickets that escalate using okay. sentiment well, then, analysis. Hey, this, um, uh, if you don't, if you're just see how using the phone, end of then, year going into 2023 uh, is looking for you. definitely wouldn't, wouldn't be relevant for you. All right. Take care. Have a good one. Yeah. Yeah, so got to pick up mm -hmm. there. Um, Mid January. Look, I'm I'm more than happy to um, find some time, but I, I also want to make sure that this is um, something that's relevant, uh, mostly to make sure that there's alignment here. What What are some of those priorities that are like really pressing right now for you? Hmm. Okay. Um, well, you tell me what makes the most amount of sense. Should we pencil something in for the new year? Okay, cool. Um, hey, remind me one thing, though. Are you guys using Zendesk or a different ticketing system? Intercom. Okay, great. Um. Well, I will let you go and see how things are looking in the new year then. All right. Take care, Monish. Happy holidays. Bye. All right. Let me unmute this tab again. <laughs> it's so confusing when I hear you and I'm talking to the prospect. I don't know how you do it. Intercom. Looks like Colin's still on the call. You taking yeah. notes? Oh, you're all okay. Sweet. Did you? Uh, what happened there? I uh, quickly pulled the cord because he's not using tech that we integrate with. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I love that. You, I mean, he seemed like he was ready to go to book a meeting, but you <laughs> took a step back, right? Because it's like, I think that's an important thing is qualify your your meetings properly yeah. right uh, i mean for you especially if you're the ones gonna be taking the meeting but like for anybody like there's no point like the goal is not to book meetings i think people often totally. get that mixed up the goal is to book quality meetings that are going to actually turn into pipe yeah i couldn't agree more with that like i learned that lesson the hard way by doing the full job booking the meetings taking the meetings it's like why would i waste my time with these demos if they're not going to go anywhere yeah
So yeah, I, I do that a lot now. If they say they're using something, we primarily work with Zendesk users only. They have a huge user base, by the way. They've got like, what is it? Like 300,000 users. Uh, but ever since that, oh uh, man, what was the company? The the crypto company that just went bust. Oh, uh, FTX or something FTX. like that. There was some connection with Zendesk. Uh, to FTX? Mm-hmm. Oh, really? I didn't know that. So there's been a lot of people like <laughs> getting away from Zendesk recently. Oh, really? Yeah. It's an interesting yeah. time also with uh, support in general. The whole landscape's being shook up with all this AI. Yeah. Well, I think it's also like there's also the other side of it is like people understand that it's, it's you know, more expensive to go find new customers than to keep current ones happy and even try to grow those accounts. So, so support true. in CS at a time like now is super important. Yeah. I should find a way to get that more into my message anyway. Yeah. One of my, I, I can hear Kevin in the background. <laughs> I was wondering right, if he was gonna like uh, live bomb the uh, our sash here. <laughs> should get him on. I should get like a straw and like hit him with a spitball or something. Uh, hey, Christopher, this is uh, double tap time. Oof. <clears throat> Hey Chris, this is Colin at Monster Connect. Uh, we got disconnected there. This is this is a cold call. Actually, my first time giving you a call. Uh, do you have half a minute and I can tell you exactly why I was reaching out today? Yeah. So, so reason I was reaching out is I was doing a bit of research. Looks like uh, you have an outbound sales team. Look like they're doing prospecting, maybe even cold calling. Is that true? Yeah. What what part did I miss there? Hey, Melissa. Hey, Melissa. It's Ronan Passar uh, with Stylo here. How have you been? Yeah. I'm doing really well, yeah, thanks. Is, is um, using, hey, look, I, I know no one likes is using the phone to prospect something on that a Wednesday. They, they, you know, um, should be doing more. Mind if I like share why I'm be calling, doing more? and then you can decide if you want to hang up on me? Yeah, so like an SDR oh, no. team. It... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, they, they it sounds like you're the on the job or... hunt then. All right. Well, I'm so sorry to hear that. Um, well, that is exactly why I was calling you. Um, well, you have a great rest of your day and, and happy holidays, Melissa. Take care. Bye. Got it. Yeah, I mean, if if uh, if using the phone isn't a big part of your outbound strategy, then then what I do, you know, wouldn't be would be super relevant. So, uh, Chris, hey, thanks for the time, though. Appreciate it. All right, take care. Look at you qualifying out, resisting the uh, resisting the temptation to just book meetings to feel good, you know. I just got another one there who like was let go recently. She's like, "Oh yeah, I'm not there anymore." I'm like, oof. Tough yeah, times. It's, it's tough. It's tough here. Gotta now. update my CRM. <clears throat> I mean, it's hard to keep track of that these days. It's just like, yeah, every day you're hearing of multiple. I just dispose of do not contact and then remove them from the account. That's all I do. So it's like just kind of a free floating data point. You could go, uh, by chance, you know who's handling your job? <laughs> I mean, what well, do you have to lose? Yeah, exactly. What do you have to lose? I've tried it before. I usually... Doesn't yeah. go well? <laughs> well, I, it's literally hey, nothing Kenneth, to lose. This is Colin at Monster Connect. We've, we've actually never spoken before. Do you, do you have half a minute and I can tell you exactly why I'm reaching out today? Yeah. Uh, so reason I'm reaching out is really to introduce my company to you when I'm not calling you out of the blue. Like today, uh, have you heard of Monster Connect before?
Yeah, let me maybe refresh your memory just a bit. Um, I'm just, I was doing a bit of research. looks like you have a sales team. looks like they're doing prospecting. Uh, is using the phone part of their, their outbound strategy? Got another call back. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, appreciate uh, appreciate your time. All right, take care. Double tapping right now. Do it. It's gonna go well, and then you're gonna double tap every time, forever. Oh, voicemail. Uh, triple. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. What do these notes say? Uh, so, you know, a trick that uh, there's a trick that uh, I don't know. If, I'm not going to recommend a triple tap, but let's just say, let's just say you were considering it, right? Yeah. <clears throat> if you call a cell phone <clears throat> and it's on silent. You have to call twice, right? Yeah, if you call twice, yeah. it pushes right through. Uh, that's just the way the phone is. Like they think, oh, if somebody calls within a short window, one after another, like it must it's be important. super important, which I mean, we're making cold calls. Of course, it's super important. That's why they should let us through. So I love that. All right. I need to build a list. So in that scenario, it's, it's not necessarily that you call and that they don't, they pick up and like hang up or whatever. Um, it's like if you call and it goes straight to voicemail, then just call, you know, call hmm. right back. Got to try that out. All right. We tell, are... you, tell you what, Colin, I will, uh, I owe you a redo with a healthier list. This is all right. I'm going to hold you to it. Um, awesome. Thanks everybody who joined us is a little quiet in the crowd today, but this was a fun session. Thanks Ronan for jumping in last minute. <laughs> you got um, it. appreciate it. I mean, I, I I should have known you'd always be ready to rock and roll. Oh, hey, Ryan, this is Colin at Monster Connect. Uh, we've actually never spoken before. Do you have a half a minute and I can tell you exactly why I'm reaching out today? Get it. Ryan, you there? I don't know, man. That was creepy. I had a heavy breather. <sighs> <laughs> uh, what a fun way to end the session you ever get those where you're like dude i know you're still there speak or you just hear background noise but they're not talking yeah yeah um <laughs> so just to give everybody who's <clears throat> wondering some some stats here uh let's refresh let's see what went Girl, down i don't even want to look at my stats from my sitting at nine you had 52 dollars. callbacks but um so <laughs> 161 dials 7.3 to one dial to connect ratio, 20, 22 conversations, one meeting booked. Um, not super stoked with, with one meeting out of the 22 conversations, but you know, some of those were had very clear, like, I mean, they don't make cold calls. So it's like nothing I can do for them. Um, and if you are curious to hear the other side of these conversations, you can check out the cold calling podcast on every podcast platform that is available, check it out. And we're dropping, you know, moments from these sessions as well as uh, both sides of the conversation. So you can hear what's happening on the phone and Ronan, thanks so much again, man. Really appreciate you jumping in here. We're definitely, you know, let me know when you've got a, a new, new list or new script you want to test or anything fun and we can just do it live. I'm so down. Can't wait to be back. All right, man. Thank you. <laughs> you bet. <laughs>